We came up with the Sector 13 to work on some archaeological materials. They're um, corrosion products from historic shipwrecks from the Gulf of Mexico. What we're trying to figure out is because these are considered marine archaeological materials, are the corrosion products providing some sort of preservation for those hulls, a protection layer to minimize any further corrosion, or are they actually enhancing the rate at which corrosion is occurring? And then there's been no comprehensive assessment of any of these. Most of the corrosion products that have been collected were from the Titanic. And what they did with them was they would just take a piece of it, grind it up and analyze it. So we are actually trying to thin section these samples and determine the internal structure, the distribution of mineralogy, metals and the microorganisms. So it would provide the first comprehensive assessment of these types of products. Because of the way this facility is set up, I can take the whole sample and at the micro scale that we need, I can actually do micro x-ray diffraction to get the mineralogy and then do the mapping to find out where these metals are. If we used other techniques, either we don't have enough sample or you have to grind it up, so we wouldn't be able to get that in situ distribution of this information that we're looking for. Corrosion is a common problem in many different environments. As we study all these different types of corrosion, if we're finding common processes, can we then use that knowledge to start to develop better protective methods to minimize corrosion of the infrastructure, both bridges, piers, ships, all of these types of materials. And in addition, how can what we learned be used to help minimize further corrosion and the loss of these materials once they're brought to the surface?